everybody this is Jonathan Oliver and I'm doing the computer lab fees problem um, uh, 39 and the technology committee has uh, stated that the average time spent by students per lab visit has increased and the increase supports the need for increased lab fees to uh, substantiate this claim the committee randomly samples 12 student lab visits and notes the amount of time using the computer the times uh, and minutes are as follows and then there's a little data table which uh, we'll see in the jump as well and you can probably see right here on the screen and then plot the data are any of the outliers so we're going to their jump um, tables right here going to analyze distribution we're going to take this minutes our variable and throw it in the y column see that little jam right there then we'll go okay and you go into histogram options and uh, uncheck the vertical go back into histogram options one more time or two more times show percents and histogram options probability access all right and then you can come up here and we can easily see our outliers by these two dots so it's gonna be row 11 with eight minutes and I believe this is row 9 with 136 minutes um, we also need to come down here and continuous fit normal and also we need to get our um, confidence intervals 0.95 so um we come back over to our problem. Um, so we got our two uh, outliers, and then the previous mean amount of time spent using the lab computer was 55 minutes. Find a 95% confidence, confidence interval for the true mean. What do you con conclude about this claim? So we come back in here. Um, we're going to go down to our mean confidence interval. As you notice, it's between 44.87 and 81.63. Uh, so we come, and we're going to go... Um, or 8163, sorry. Uh, and we're going to come back in and we're going to go back into our data table right here. We're going to come in and delete rows 9 and 11. We're going to go back into analyze, distribution, and do the same thing over again so we can compare our outputs. Instagram check, boom, boom. Oops. As you notice, there's no more dots in there on our histogram, and also we're going to go back in here 95% confidence interval and continuous fit as normal. As you can see, 55 is still captured in our mean uh, confidence interval with the 95% confidence. So uh, there is not any um, change to substantiate our claim from the original one with outliers in it. And yeah, okay, cool.